Welcome. Theodore Payne Foundation's Wildflower Hotline is made possible by donations and memberships. Please support the hotline today. The hotline offers weekly online and recorded updates on the best locations for viewing spring wildflowers in Southern and Central California. All locations are on easily accessible public lands and range from urban to wild, distant to right here in LA. Again, in 2024, we have the right conditions for an excellent wildflower viewing season across California. Most years, media outlets herald visitors to Anza Borrego Desert State Park for good wildflower viewing. True, this is usually where the big first spring bloom occurs, but only if the desert has been blessed with significant annual rainfall. The desert floor received two inches from tropical storm Hillary in the summer, and there was enough winter rain to sustain the summer bloom as well as germinate new seedlings. Some locales are now in peak bloom, including the sandy area north of Henderson Canyon and De Giorgio Roads. The washes and trails in Hell Hole, Glorietta, and Coyote Canyons are showing a diversity of photo-worthy wildflowers, too. Displays of San Verbena, Dune Evening Primrose, Brown-Eyed Evening Primrose, Desert Lily, and Hairy Desert Sunflower are in excellent bloom. Having said that, most areas at mid to high elevations are still two to four weeks away from peaking. If you are entering ABDSP via San Felipe Valley, 2,000 feet elevation, for example, you will encounter few annuals, but flowering perennials are quite showy. Look for desert apricot and chuparosa blooming along Highway S2. The giant Coreopsis is flourishing on ocean-facing, sunny slopes rising above the Pacific Coast Highway. Keep your eyes focused on that famously treacherous road, however. One of the best places to safely pull off the highway and enjoy walking with the yellow giants is at Leo Carrillo State Park. Plan a day trip. Trail maps and other park features like the beach and tide pools are described in the park brochure available online. Travel two miles north of Leo Carrillo on PCH and turn right on Yerba Buena Road. Continue to where the Mishimakwa Trail head and the Backbone Trail connect. The hills here are blanketed in white-blooming Big Pod Cyanothus. Imagine a veil of lace laid out lovingly on the lush green slopes. That is what this display of Cyanothus will remind you of. In wet soils along the trail, displays of Padre's shooting are peaking and red-skinned onions are starting to bloom. Take caution hiking around this fragile wetland habitat. The Santa Rosa Plateau, located in southwestern Riverside County, encompasses six distinct habitat types. A network of trails lets you go back in time here to experience the natural and diverse landscape of California's indigenous people. On the Vernal Pools Trail, you can encounter a, a breathtaking display of shooting stars. And look for the red sticky monkey flower and the stately Eastwood Manzanita on the Adobe Loop Trail. Under the shade of ancient Engelman oaks scattered through the preserve grow patches of shiny yellow buttercups and sweet white milkmaids. And that's it for this week. Visit the Wildflower Hotline website to see photos of these and more wildflower sites. The Theodore Payne Foundation's Poppy Days Spring Plant Sale is March 29th and 30th. There'll be a great selection of colorful wildflowers. And check the TPF website theodorepain.org for details. The next report will be available on Friday, March 15th.